All right, so here what they're asking us to do is say, uh, what is the definition of a perfect square? Well, what I want to do is let's just kind of think about what exactly is a square. So a square, right, is a four-sided figure that has four equal lengths and four 90-degree angles, all right? So therefore, if I say that, um, that one length is seven, that means all the lengths are going to be seven, correct? Um, and then the next thing is, if I, let's say, I wanted to compute the area of this, well, the area of a square is equal to length times width or base times height, whatever formula you want to follow. Um, but here, you can see that the area is either going to equal 7 times 7, which equals 49. So what we say is um, 49 is what we call a perfect square because it has the same number multiplied by itself equals, um, equals 49. So when, um, when we don't have a perfect square, all right, let's say, what, let's say if our area was 50. Well, we couldn't, we couldn't have two side lengths that would be exactly the same that would multiply to give us 50. So therefore, 50 is not a perfect square. But let's take a look at, let's see what other numbers would represent perfect squares. So seven times seven gives us 49. Let's do six times six equals 36. Five times five equals 25. Four times four equals 16. Three times three equals nine. And two times two equals four. So these are all examples of perfect squares. Again, they're perfect squares because their side lengths make up a square. Because if you have your two are going to be the same, you have your square to find the area, they're all going to be the same. So therefore, they make a perfect square, right? If, you only, if they weren't all the same, then it wouldn't be a square. It wouldn't be perfect. So when you have your two side lengths are exactly the same, you create a perfect square. And the area is what we call those numbers perfect squares. And my advice to you is to be able to go up um, as high as you can to at least 15. 7 times 7 is 49. 8 times 8 is 64. 9 times 9 is 81. 10 times 10 is 100. 11 times 11 is 121. Try to go up as far as you can um, because these, these numbers, having these memorized, it's not a big deal, but having them memorized is going to help you a lot and being able to do a lot of mental math um, in your head. So 12 times 12 is 144, 13 times 13 is 169, 14 times 14 is 196, and 15 times 15 is 225.